armed police on guard today, ringing Kunming's train station. Incredibly, travellers were already flooding back in, less than 24 hours after the murderous rampage here. Ten or more attackers, masked, some of them women, ran amok. The attackers drew their knives, they began slashing at people here and then chased them. The crowd scattered everywhere and in the space of just 12 minutes, around 150 people were killed and injured here. I saw one man and one woman clearly. A policeman walked up to them. He pointed his walkie-talkie. He had no weapon. He shouted, put your knives down. Who are you? They sat upon him. They ran out from there. They had knives 50, 60 centimeters long. People were shouting, we have never harmed you. Why are you killing us? They didn't care. They killed everyone, adults and the children. Chinese authorities say this was done by terrorist elements from Xinjiang in China's far west. Wang Hongli, a student, was in the ticket queue when she was stabbed. Xinjiang lies thousands of miles away on China's border with Pakistan and Afghanistan. Many of its Muslim Uyghurs resent what they see as heavy-handed Chinese control. Violence here has been getting worse. Dozens died last year. And now it may be seeping into other parts of China. Last October, China said this incident in Beijing's Tiananmen Square was a Uyghur terror attack. A car ploughed into a crowd, then burst into flames. Two tourists and three people in the vehicle died. But this latest rampage was far more bloody. And what will worry China's authorities is that despite the vast sums they're now spending on internal security, the violence is spreading. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, Kunming.